I'm so tapped and welcome back to Bunker Punks. I went ahead and cleared my way through to uh, to the final boss area. Possibly final boss area. So we'll see how this goes. I This is Molly Pop. I'm going in. What was I saying? I um decided to I might be sort of running out of I feel like I'm running out of stuff to say. I still enjoy this game and I like showing it off, but uh, I don't... I don't, know, I don't feel like I carry on the eternal let's play sort of thing. You know, like 18 billion episodes you know, without running out of stuff to say. I guess I haven't really done it in quite a long time. How did that... Ah, whatever. I did notice one thing I feel about this game that makes it less frustrating for me than other roguelikes Whenever I make mistakes, damn it, like that, it feels like my fault. It feels like I did something wrong, and I can't get too mad at that. With a lot of other roguelikes, it's like, oh, there's a new enemy type. You're just gonna completely die, and it's gonna deal like 8 billion damage to you, because you don't know the one thing you need to do to stop it. And you, you know, you're not introduced to these enemies in a reasonable, you know, a way you can reasonably, uh, learn to fight them. Oh god. Okay, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I was trying to cheap him out, but there we go. Woo! Magnum is still kicks so much ass. Whew. Though the one thing that could add to the Magnum without making it like totally out of character is if it penetrated like partial bullet penetration where like say your bullet does 90 damage and you hit an enemy with 50 damage, like that has 50 health. The bullet would go through and deal 40 damage to the next enemy it hits. It might be a little overpowered, but uh, it feels like it would only affect the super trash mobs. And uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's mostly just sort of a balancing thing, where you know the magnum is for big things. I also feel a little. I feel like you shouldn't use the magnum as your starting weapon because, damn it. Why can't I hit things? Um, ugh. The um, assault rifle is just better at handling, you know, general, you know, you don't know what's coming situations. And you don't have to, you know, if you panic, you can still hit things. You can't really panic and hit things with the revolver. Also, maybe you noticed it before I did, but the revolver has a really steep, oh god damn it damage drop off. This isn't going well, but we have we have a backup character this time, so we can actually attempt this stage twice, which is really nice. More more roguelikes need, you know, one-ups or, you know, equivalents or, or continues. Or just a mode, like an easy mode that enables continues, like even limited continues um, would be really nice. I would really appreciate that in um, what's it called? Uh, Neurovoider. I love those strafe shots with the revolver. Oh my god! Did you see that? Uh, that's the sort of intense stuff that I love about, you know, that Doom style of combat. Yeah, just casually dodging a fireball. You know, whatever. Whatever. NBD. NBD. How are you not dead, sir? Oh my god, there was two. There was two! There was two. Why were there two? Pete's sake. Part of that music sounds like some sort of animal dying. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, credits. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, there's three! There were three in that room! Fuck that room. That room doesn't exist. Oh my god. This sure is final level in here. Holy crap. Uh, anybody got some health items or something? Okay. Here's an easier to approach room. Let's start with this one. Watch there be a giant cyber demon in here. Oh! No cyber demon. Uh -huh. I should have refilled my 
rifle instead. Hmm. No ammo for me? Hmm. I might opt for that rocket launcher. I guess a strong point of the rocket launcher is no damage drop off. Got it. Let's kite one of those. Oh. It's not a good enemy to kite. Oh. He's escaping. Woo. You like that? I can't even see the damage I'm dealing. That better be something good. It's a runner. Oh my god. I did that for nothing. I shouldn't have even looked in that stupid, terrible room. Uh, there was there's another rocket launcher I could get some ammo from, right? Ah, crap. No, that's a pistol. Ah, crap. So I still gotta take down the Arachnotron. Fair game. Hmm. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's this thing. Yeah, that part of this music sounds like some sort of like bug screaming in horrible pain. Um Alright, so that the Arachnotron is in the final like room of this floor. There's two more floors, by the way. Oh my god. <clears throat> You gotta be kidding. Okay. Oh! There was rocket launcher ammo. I can't even tell how much damage this stupid thing is dealing. Seems to kill things good enough, though. Maybe I was wrong about good old rocket launchers. The lack of damage drop off is a pretty big deal. I think normal pistols had less damage drop off than the uh, than my revolver. That's my that's the one weakness of the revolver. Well, there's two weaknesses: the slow firing rate. Ah, for Pete's sake! Slow firing rate, and it. Uh, I hit the wall again. Slow firing rate and major damage drop off. We have low health though, so this might not go all that well anyway. I hope I keep this revolver if I die. On the plus side, the other character I have has slightly more health. What if I get to keep my money to upgrade my stuff after I die? Here we go. Oh my god, I hate this room, I hate this room, I hate this room, I hate this room. Oh my god, how are you still alive? How are you still alive? I could swear I killed that stupid thing. Ugh. Getting caught on things in a first person game is incredibly frustrating. Oh hey, you get an armor bonus too. <sighs> okay. Sure. One HP unit per hit on combo kills. That's all I can really do. Alright! Let me see my guns. Yeah, my guns are right. Uh, I hate all of these choices. The bullet damage. No, I, I, I need that armor. Escape pads. Both of those kind of suck, but whatever. I need all the armor I can get. Health is definitely the major problem. Nice I think I'll take it. Ugh, for Pete's sake. Okay. It's trying to screw it up this time. Be very wary of the big explodey bits. I see you. I think one more will do. Ah, oh, for 
crying out loud. Great when he dies. I know you're there. Ah, asshole. Mm. Nope. Does this have... Damage drop-off is a lot less on the assault rifle. Actually, it's basically zero. That's good to know. It's less accurate, though, so it's... Loses damage at a range in a different way. What is that? Oh, banker outfit. Don't need that. Money is no longer of import. So I fail this, I am dead. I kind of fuck! I kind of figure we're gonna see the final boss and we're gonna die to it because everything else like, oh god. I just wanna... There you go. There you go. Oh. Almost forgot about your friends. How rude of me. Oh my god, how did I not pick up that health? Oh, whatever. Nope. Well, then. <sighs> a nice touch is that the the procedural generation is not reset when you die, so we, we're facing the same level. Unfortunately, the enemies aren't still dead, but uh, that might be a little too easy. Whoa. <laughs> I heard that so close in my ear. A little startling. Oh god damn it. This one. Okay, I gotta get better at using that assault rifle for the long range crap. There you go. <sighs> Feels so good. Pull off that moving, you know, that strafing shot. He'd say. Damage drop off is really extreme for the poor Magnum. I might have to start using a little less. It's really fun, but uh, very risky. That has surprisingly few ammo issues. Oh god. I gotta remember to. Kill the trash with the- oh god. I thought you were dead. I swear I thought he was dead. Okay. We don't even- Oh, there's no rocket launcher to abuse now. Oh god, I don't like this. Why am I between two of these things? Woo! I think he got hit stunned there for a second. Oh, I hate this. I hate this room. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I hate that room. I hate that room. I hate that room. I hate that room. Oh, funky draw distance. Oh, I can't believe that. Oh God. What? Excuse you. Don't try to give me a heart attack! <laughs> I love that his legs blow off though, that is very satisfying. Alright. We don't really... That's not gonna work. Was there a rocket launcher anywhere here? I'm not well equipped for this down the hallway situation. I'd go in there and fight him himself, but not with all of that 
trash in there. Fuck. Well, let's see how the shotgun works. Sorry, I'm gonna be kiting this thing. Are you kidding? <laughs> it doesn't even hit! It doesn't even hit. You gotta be joking. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. There you go. Alright, sorry about that. I didn't I didn't want to die or lose tons of health to that again. That thing is dying again. I feel so sorry for whatever it is that died for that song. Oh god. Give me the Gimme the Muns. Give Tem the Muns. Why am I risking health for the Oh god damn it? Do not risk health for ammo and shit right now. Not worth it. Bagger shoes, I don't need that crap. Yeah, not a better assault rifle. It didn't even have ammo in it. Not worth not worth Fancy shooting the ball. Nah. Make way for clear I do feel like there's slightly less enemies, maybe? All of the big ones are definitely here, but I feel like maybe there's slightly less trash mobs? Two ways, which way do we go? Whoop! Not that way. We're actually... Die. Oh crap. Ah, for... These things are surprisingly frustrating for, you know, stationary turrets. They still survive a full damage hit from a goddamn magnum. How how ridiculous is that? Health, 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 health! Thank you. I still hear things. Ugh, why can't I get a helmet with some damage reduction? Please. Alright, ugh. I see you. Crap. And there weren't any rocket launches around either. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. Come close, baby. There you go. One more? Yeah! How do you like that? Whew! Doing better this run! Doing better! No complaints! No complaints. Assassin's Sight. That looks nifty. And it's very slightly more useful than what I currently had. I still would prefer some freaking damage reduction. Aw, oh, crap. I meant to switch to the assault rifle. The, the initial seconds are very tense, and that's both a good and a bad thing. Oh god, oh god, okay. Better. Better. Okay. Boop! I can't wait to consistently kill those things in one hit. That will make all the voodoo sacrifices I have to do to get to achieve that worth it. God damn it. Shoo! Actually, this assault rifle tears them up pretty fast. Unless that magnum hit did more damage than I thought it did. I thought it did like 10 damage, though. Oh, I thought I killed you. Whatever. Whatever. It wouldn't have hurt much, but that was a pretty good juke, in my opinion. I see you. I see you. Three. Four. Yes. Okay. 
It's very tense because we all know what happens if he survives that shot. There's really nothing. Okay, I see all of you. Woo! I see that spider mastermind. Rude. <gasps> Money! Okay, that's a bat. Oh god, oh god, it can see me. Okay, okay, okay. You just... <sighs> They're always a corridor, like a long corridor away. So I can't... At least I don't feel confident it's just slipping up in there. Getting all up in his grill. <sighs> Those are really scary to stare down, let me tell you. Yeah, that's one thing you don't get. That's another thing you don't get without... Um, Slow-moving projectiles. You don't get to stare death in the face and then dodge it like, aw, you, 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 you... Not in the mood for your shit. It's bleeding. I just noticed, this thing... There's a person in there. And now he's dead because he was a jerk. Yeah, I didn't notice those were people before. Oh well. Okay. One more floor? Well, then. Yep. One more floor. We better get some ammo soon. Nah, the tra there's trash mobs everywhere, so they'll, they'll be ammo. Make way for Cleopatra Rex. It's only the arachnotrons and stuff that really put me out of ammo. Yes, Whew! See? No ammo concerns at all. Ugh, that stupid tactical shotgun. It's just this gun, but way worse, is all that is. I mean, I guess the spread makes it easier to aim, but less satisfying, and it doesn't seem nearly as effective. Aw, oh, damn it. I would love to go into this boss with full health, but I don't see it happening. This will have plenty of assault rifle ammo. See, now I have enough room to maneuver and not get hit by splash damage. I still don't like getting close to that thing, but in a situation like that, it's okay. And there's an arachnotron across the corner. Of course there is. I thought there was. F yep, Arachnotron. What is... Okay, you! Okay, I gotta clear it, clean out this trash. This is going to make dealing with the real deal really frustrating. There you go! Oh god, you're alive. Whew, almost blew that thing up in my face. Okay. Just you and me, honey. Mmm. You ready for our date? Why aren't you shooting? That thing gets hit stunned? I almost feel bad for it. I almost feel bad for it. That was murder. That was cold blooded murder. <laughs> I guess they can be hit stunned. I guess they have. That's yet another Doom thing. Um, Doom has a. A hit stun thing called hurt chance or something, and like the chain gun is the most common. Oh, well, the chainsaw and the chain gun. Um, there's a hurt chance, and like the chainsaw, if you've seen with pinkies, you can just constantly hit them, and they almost never hurt that back. Victory! Did we really win? But yeah, the the reason chainsaw and chain gun are so effective is because they have. They hit stun enemies a lot, and so enemies just can't react. Well, they can react, but they'll react much, much less often than normal. So I guess he was hit stun. I, I, I. So that's another plus for the uh, thing. Yeah, I really don't want that guy. Fast firing shotgun with good range. That is tempting. 
it really into working out. Ugh. I do not have much tech at all. I, I should have gotten proof pistol damage. That is tempting. Accurate long range rifle. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go with that. I figured I would get like a boatload of tech for beating the game. But it's just like, it's just another loop. I mean, it's it's still in early access, like I've been saying. So I mean, maybe there is a final boss planned. I don't know. Though I guess, <coughs> I guess Doom's final boss was like kind of lame. So maybe they're they're going the same route of mostly just lots of cool normal enemies. Ah, it just seems like such a waste. Two hundred on that, and then I can't buy anything else. Well, I can buy these. Oh! So that's why I need a new vendor, because... Alright, well... I'll see what he has, at least. Aw, oh, no! I couldn't have afforded that anyway. Oh, hey! Are you the one that starts with a magnum? Ah. Oh. If only I had 300 more tech than I actually did. Bring the hurt to Pharaoh. I guess... Story-wise, it kind of makes sense. We, we're just sort of beating up the baddies and uh, continuing on. Oh man, that sucks. So with another 200 tech, I could get more bunker space. And despite me getting to quote-unquote the end, there's still quite a bit of stuff um, that I haven't unlocked. Like there's... There's whole bunker, like, upgrade types that I don't seem to have. So, uh, I guess I'll call that it for the videos on Bunker Punks for now. Um, I might do more videos later once there's more content in the game or once it's done, probably. I mean, like with Slime Rancher, I really enjoyed the game the way it is now. But as far as actually showing it on YouTube, I don't see much point until the game's actually done. Not because it's not a good game, just because I've already shown it in early access state, and all other early access states are, you know, just marginal improvements until the real deal. Because, you know, there's a lot of people out there, and I can't blame them for it, that won't buy games early access. I pretty much don't buy games in early access. Um, most of the early access games I end up playing are because, you know, I get a review copy like I did with this. Um, I, I don't have anything against the early access business model, but um, it's putting a lot of risk on me. And a lot of early access games just tend to be stuff that I'm not really too into, like, you know, the zombie survival games, uh, roguelikes, stuff that... And it makes sense, because that's the sort of stuff that needs real players to go through and test it. And, you know, it's the sort of stuff people play, you know, for like a hundred hours. So, um, early access makes sense, because, I mean, you m you probably won't get tired of it, like you would with, like, a short linear game. But uh, at the same time, that tends to not be the sort of game I enjoy as much, personally. I was kind of hoping the base game would be harder and cooler, but like, you know, Binding of Isaac style stuff, but, um, actually, like, <laughs> the start of this game isn't too bad, pacing-wise. It's obviously easier, and I kind of miss the Cyber Demons and Arachnotrons, or we'll call them Barons, or we'll call them Hell Knights, I guess. That's more functionally what they are, even though the Rock Launcher makes them feel more like Cyber Demons. Oop! That was dumb. That was dumb. See, I feel like I can own up to my mistakes in this game. Like, it, it just feels... It feels like it was me, not the game. Or RNG. And and that that is very good in a roguelike. I, I did not feel that feeling of, oh, hey, I screwed up when I died in Neurovoider. At least not, not against the bosses. A lot of those bosses were bullcrap. Oof. I definitely think this game could use a lot more in terms of... Well, just everything that is in here is gold. It just needs more of all of it, basically. Um, and I guess that's why it's an early access, but... Uh, 
I really do like it, and I hope it uh, continues improving. I'll probably check it out again once it's uh, fully released. I'm not sure I'll do videos, but uh, it, it just taunts me with this empty, this thing that I can't do anything with. How, how dare they, Parker? Exactly. Yes. Well, that is Bunker Punks. Yes, it is, Parker.